So they want us to insert four geometric means between 3 and 3072. There's going to be four numbers in here such that if we, since it's geometric, we're multiplying by the same thing every time we get to here. Now you could guess and check your way there. And when you guess and check, use small numbers like 2 or 3 or something like that. And maybe you'll stumble across it. On this one, you probably would. But just in case they pull something funky, we're going to use a formula. It's geometric. We're looking for the nth term. There's no sum involved. So geometric nth term. We're using the formula a sub n is a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. And what I'm missing is my r. I don't know what I'm multiplying by every time. Yeah. But they do give me some information about the, the last term. I know that this is my first term, second term, third term, fourth, fifth term, sixth term. So I know that when n is 6, the nth term, the sixth term, should be 3072. So we just plug that in and see if we can solve. So that the value of this term is 3072, when the first term is 3, we don't know the r, but we do know in this case that n is 6. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Now we have one equation with just one unknown. We can solve this by taking that, dividing by 3 first, 3072 divided by 3 is 1024 is r to the fifth. Now you're just sort of wondering what number you raise to the fifth power to get 1024. You could guess and check, or you could take the fifth root if your calculator allows it, and r is going to be a 4. Uh, so now the numbers that are going to go in here, the geometric means, are going to be uh, 3 times 4 is 12, times 4 is 48, times 48 times 4 is 192, 192 times 4 is 768, and 768 times 4 is 3072. Heck yeah, it works. These are what we're looking for. Awesome.